One of the other things we see throughout Scripture in this 40,000 foot view is that God has a special concern for the needy child, for the fatherless. And we see very, very often in Scripture a particular attention given to the orphan, to the fatherless, and the widows because God has that preferential option for the poor, as our liberation theology friends used to phrase it. And we see that theme throughout Scripture. We see that um, God expects that parents will train their children. And the role of the father is, in fact, to teach their children. Psalm 78 is a great passage about the decrees and statutes that God gave to the forefathers, and he instructed the fathers to teach their children. I personally believe that fathers not teaching their children is part of the problem that we see today. But God instructed the fathers to teach their children. Now, he probably also instructed the mothers to teach the children. But the fathers have a particular role to teach their children so that they would teach their children and the children yet to be born so that they would teach their children. So it's God's intention is that the teachings and statutes will cascade down the generations. That's his expectation, that we will be teaching and training our children. God expects that we'll discipline our children. And Proverbs often talks about uh, the, uh, the way that we discipline, discipline our children. And God disciplines us. How? As a father disciplines his child. And does a father discipline his child? Of course a father disciplines his child because he loves him so much. Discipline his child is not because you dislike him, you dislike the behavior. And so of course a loving father will discipline his child. And God disciplines us in the same way. And we see instructions about that, about God's train, uh, training of us and a father's responsibility to train a child throughout Scripture. Mm -hmm.